All right, everyone, here we go. This is a big reading. It's an all signs reading. Doesn't matter what your sign is. It's a straight up energy reading. This is Pluto retrograding back into Capricorn. This is the retrograde portion of it, right? Next month, it starts moving forward again in Capricorn for the last time in any of our lifetimes for the last time, unless you're planning on being live in 2256. Are you? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, you will be. You'll be in another vessel, I'm sure. But uh, anyway, in this lifetime, in this incarnation, you're probably not going to be around in 2256 it, or 458. It depends. There's, there's debate on that. But anyway, either way, it doesn't matter. Around 2256, give or take. That said, Capricorn Pluto, what does it mean during its retrograde phase? Well, I've got the most perfect pre-shuffle here. It's about taking another look. Pluto, one last time. Just in time, you know, I could, I could turn this into the most controversial Steve's Love Tarot reading ever. Politically charged, blah, blah, blah. I don't have to. It, it, it just, it's, you know, people are who they are. You know, it, you're going to do what you want to do. I don't care. What I do care about is this energy. So we're going to talk about the soulmate cycle and leave it there. Okay? You can infer whatever you want. Knock yourself out. I wrote a nice blog article about all this. It's in the blog. And Pluto wrote about Pluto all over the place in that blog of mine. Right here is the uh, Page of Cups. Surface energy. Just ask the universe. Give me the, what's the influence here on the soulmate cycle? Pluto retrograde in Capricorn, the retrograde phase. We take, well, I've got the Page of Cups, right? Crossed by the Nine of Cups. We take another look. At, someone is taking another look at you. Someone is taking another look at whether you're who they want. Do you make them happy? The thing is about this energy is, and I'll show you, there's a five of wands there. That's, that's only there, and I say that because of the card that's underneath it. That's only there to show me how weak the energy of resistance is. How weak the energy of someone double thinking themselves and all of that is. Because underneath it is a tower. The answer is glaringly obvious. Just like a tower is glaringly obvious. All right? Are you the one that makes them happy? Right. Pretty fucking obvious. All right? The thing is, have we the wisdom have we evolved enough for, for this to happen? It's, it's something that's been trying to happen. There's something between you and someone else, whether you realize it or not. You, know, you might say, well, this person ran away a long time ago, Steve. Okay. Something's been trying to happen with the star here for a long fucking time. I got the star in the tower. Now, now I always say the star comes after the tower, right? Mm -hmm. Well, here it is. <laughs> you know, it's been trying to happen. The question is, can this person attached to you see the forest for the trees? And whatever in your life, you need to see the forest for the trees, right? I don't know, but it's been trying to happen. The problem is we need wisdom to make this happen because there's a lot of confusion that's created. And, and that happens all the time. That happens all the time. There's a lot of confusion. There's, there's a, we think about too many things. We think about too many options. Somebody's been thinking about too many things, weighing too many options, blending with themselves. Well, they've been kind of caught in five, in, well, where is it? I lost it now. In five wands for quite a while. Underneath that is the six of wands. The universe thinks predictively that we can get victory here, right? It's about using wisdom to make the right choice. The universe seems to think that maybe they can, right? It's minor arcana, right? But the right choice brings transformation, okay? It really does. I have proof of that. The right choice. Why am I saying that? I felt I felt a choice here. The, the six of wands don't have anything to do with a choice, Steve. Yeah, there's your choice. And there's your big transformation. That's an even bigger butterfly than that one. All right? I'll tell you what. And there's your wisdom, by the way. I didn't know that was there. I didn't know anything beyond the six of wands. I didn't know that was there. There's your wisdom. So, again, it's about taking a second look at what makes, it, what, what makes you happy for you. Right? And not, not, there's not much getting in the way. The answer is very obvious. It's sort of that old saying there, if, you, if someone shows you who they are or something shows you what it is, believe it the first time, right? It's like, we, well, we don't. We often don't because we get bamboozled and by ourselves or by other people with all sorts of nonsense and crosstalk and all kinds of stuff like that. It gets very confusing. There's something that's been trying to happen for a long time, all right? A change. Someone's been trying to make a change and come towards you for a long time. Pluto and Capricorn is your friend, especially the retrograde phase, right? Not the the direct phase. I'll pull on it when we get there. It's very similar, but it's a bit more flowy. It's a bit more. You don't have much more time. Kind of. A, there's a bit of a time crunch to it. With Pluto retrograde and Capricorn, you got a lot of time to lean back in your chair and figure it out, 
I mean, the, an the answer is very obvious. The question is, will somebody start questioning things and create confusion and chaos with crosstalk and double talk? I don't think so. I think it's pretty clear. We'll see. We'll see. So, but I, what is very clear from that pre-shuffle pre -shuffle is something's been trying to happen for a long time. It really has. You two, and I've, we've been getting it in the readings for sure. It's general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Let's go. Let's see where we're at here. All right. First card out's before the cuts. Why the fuck are we here? Ten swords. Um, you might say, well, somebody, you might think I'm going to say, well, somebody sees you, it is over, so they come towards you, right? Pretty common in the soulmate cycle. That's actually not what I'm going to say. That's not the energy that's coming off of that. This is almost Pluto talking in a way. It's the energy itself saying that enough is enough. Enough bullshit. It's time to pick a, pick a direction, pick a route, put ten swords in one, and walk the other path, okay? That's what's going on here. Um... I think somebody attached to you knows this. I think they know that it's time to make a decision. I think they realize in this energy that they've been holding on to your energy, okay, for quite a while. What comes after the cut? Let's see. See how close I came. Mm. Uh. <laughs> it's a reversed world. Look at that. It is. I checked it just to make sure. There's your whole pre-shuffle right there with a reversed world, okay? I think somebody realizes that, oh, I, I did get it right. But I'm going to add to what I said. I think somebody realizes that they've been going in the wrong direction. They've been making the wrong choice. I think a good chunk of our societal energies realize the same thing. You know, There's a brief moment here. I always say the, that the energy of World War II is here and around us right now. It applies to the soulmate cycle and societal energies. During Pluto's retrograde phase through Capricorn, the retrograde phase, that energy kind of dissipates out a little bit. It lightens. And... Uh, it allows a lot of truth to come through. I think somebody realizes that, that they went the wrong way and they're about to fix it and they realize what makes them happy and the answer is glaringly obvious and there's not a lot of resistance. I get it. I'm going to flip that back up because I don't like them reversed in my deck. The universe wanted to make sure I read that reversed. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Let's shuffle the deck here. Here we go. All right. Come on. All right. Let's see where we're at. Give me a soulmate cycle with the influence of Pluto retrograding, as I like to say, through Capricorn. For the last time, for a little over two centuries. We've had Pluto and Capricorn for a while. It's been in Aquarius. We've got a brief taste of Pluto and Aquarius. I've liked it. Um, Pluto and Capricorn started about 2008. We had it for a long time. It, it was a lot of bullshit. Right, a lot of bullshit between two. It came in. It came in with a, a housing crash here in the U.S. And, you know, all kinds. Of, oh my God, all kinds of stuff. Then the presidential campaigns got real cartoony. Remember, I remember Herman Cain. I'm, or, or, was that the guy? Uh, Who's Becky Becky Stan? That guy. Oh God, they got really cartoony for a while there. Oh my God, Jesus, unreal. Yeah, things got really crazy. It's been it's been nuts with Pluto and Capricorn. Phew. I feel bad for the people in 2256 when <laughs> they get it back. All right, let's go. Anyway, the soulmate cycle, most of Pluto and Capricorn's soulmate cycle was a piece of cake. This one came in. It did not like that energy. Why? Because it's the opposite energy. Capricorn, this is a, this is a Cancerian themed soulmate cycle, and Pluto and Capricorn, those are two uh, opposite sides of the astrological spectrum. Mm, it did not get along very well. Um, here we go. Overall energy, Knight of Swords. I think I think somebody bringing you a message. Fueled by what? Fueled by Seven Pentacles. I think now is the time. Somebody realizes that. I think somebody realizes now is the time. It's harvest time. It's time. Okay? Seeds that have been planted. We could say that. We could talk about all that. But either way, Knight of Swords. And look at the color match. These two cards match in the background. And that's reading energy. You know? All right. Let's go. All right. Uh, right here's the energy around your connection with whoever this is. This is such big energy. And there's so many energies around it that are influencing it. Mar I can't wait for the Mars and Cancer reading, too. That's going to be something awesome. Um, okay. But that's not to discount this one. So, uh, soulmate energies. The energy around your connection is here. 3D energies around this person is here. Their, their soul is here. Okay. Hidden energy message from the universe is here. Red with the energy of connection. Right here's the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. Nobody can. I will clarify everything, do some universe cards at the end, and yep, we're going to extend it. We have to. 
Um, we have to. This is good. This is big energy. It's a big deal. I mean, think about it. Oh, Pluto and Capricorn again. Yay. Yeah, but it's the last time for two, a little over two centuries. It's the last time. All right. And then it moves on to Aquarius. And by the time it moves on to uh, Pisces, you know, a lot of people, that's the 2040s. You know, I mean, we're, we're a ways off. So we're stuck with it in Aquarius for a while. That's going to be good. So this is, this is your chances. This is what you want to take forward is the kind of asking. So again, it's that energy that asks, whether it's societal or soulmate, are you sure? Mm. You've got time to decide while it's retrograde. Once it starts moving forward, time running out. Okay. All right. Energy around your connection. It applies to someone attached to you. That's good. We want that urgency. Look, look, I, you can't. What did I say? I, and again, I got a color match, color match, color match. The time I have to do it. I have to. Somebody feels like they need to talk to you. Somebody feels like they need to take a shot because if they don't take a shot, ten swords. You know, somebody feels like it's time. It's time to make a decision. I've held on to Steve's viewers energy long enough. It's time to make a decision. OK, um, there's an incoming energy. It's probably a masculine energy. Uh, dominant masculine energy so you know the divine masculine could be it could just I mean I don't know somebody with very heavy masculine energy for sure it's got good intentions attached to it it might come across a little swordsy it's probably a communication something they want to say maybe they think it might hurt you but it, but did they think it's for the greater good I don't know um, 3d energies around this person somebody I just all the same it's somebody returning six of cups just the soul making this. The 3D energies around them are your connection uh, and the karma attached to it. Okay? It's all they can think about. It's all they want to think about. It's what they're considering. When they're with that big question in the energy, are you sure? It's what they're considering. It's your connection. It's what they're thinking about. What am I going to do about Steve's viewer? Mm, got something to say. There's a lot of feelings here. Feelings growing as well. Mm. I would say something else. There's energy is always in layers. There's a thin layer of energy here. All right. If you're someone who's thinking about doing a spell for this, I'm just going to say it. It's probably one person watching me. And you know who you are. Put the fucking spell cup down. All right. Put the book down or whatever website you're on. That's, oh, look. If I dance naked in my yard, and I guess, it, stop it. Don't manipulate energy here. All right. Don't. The energy's doing just fine on its own. You will catch some backlash if you try a spell here. All right, you don't want to fuck with this. This is pretty powerful shit. Pluto's pretty powerful shit. Uh, this is powerful shit. Talking about the last phase of a Pluto transit for a couple of hundred plus years. It's it's got this. Okay, it's got this. There's very little anybody needs to do with the five of wands that was in the pre-shuffle. That said, let's take a look at this person's soul, this incoming energy soul. I have to say it because I think if you do a spell here and you try to, if you're someone who does that, you try to get this person, you're gonna regret it. All right, you, you will. I'm telling you right now. Um, you do what you want to do. I'm just a talking hand. But <laughs> trust me, I'm not just a talking hand. Uh, anyway, uh, three, three of Pentacles. Um, yeah. Look, it's, it's the, the soul's on board. It, it's like the soul and the ego are having a talk. And it's like, yeah, let's do this. Let's go in. We got something to say. We need to say it. We need to do something. We need to finally make a decision here, one way or another. Right? And, and then the ego is like, yeah. Yeah, I get it. I get it. It gets it because it's feeling all this. All, for some reason, they're processing the, the energies around your connection very well. This is very smooth energy here. It's, that's why I mean it's got it all on its own. Okay? And again, I tell you that if you're making any kind of decision about societal energies or about something in your life or whatever, okay, the answer is obvious. It's there. When someone or something shows you who they are, fucking believe it, okay? I, I mean, I, I, people have to be hit over the head 900 times, it seems. You know, how many times? It just, it's just the way it is. Don't be like that. This energy, it's got it. It's there. It's simple. It's very easy. That's why if you throw a spell on top of it, it'll gum up the works. It just makes it overcomplicates things, right? This is simple. It's working. It's easy energy. There's not much resistance. The answers you're looking for are there. For someone attached to you, the answer is very obvious what they need to do. Okay? It's here, and it's here in the overall energy. All right? And, it's, and this, this is saying the same thing. The Seven of Pentacles, divine timing. The energy is right. The energy is right because it's very, it's very easy to understand. A lot of that, 
a lot of the heaviness that's in the energy lately is part of that that storm that energetic storm it comes around it's like the red spot on fucking jupiter or the the storm patterns of uranus and things like that it it comes around in a set amount of time you see it when it comes around it comes around it is a every 80 or 90 years there's an energetic storm that comes around last time it was here was world war ii before that the civil war before that the revolutionary war and it goes on and on and on back into history it's the same fucking thing every time it comes around there's some sort of social upheaval. There's some sort of big separation in the soulmate cycle. Obviously, Civil War, World War II, big separations, right? And it was, as far as the soulmate cycle goes. Anyway, my point is that energy is kind of lifting here temporarily. Like I said, while Pluto's retrograde. It makes it very simple. It makes things very, very, very clear. So take advantage of that. All right? And there's not a lot of surprises coming your way because Uranus is also going retrograde right at the same time. So again, it makes it very easy. This is why this is happening here. All right, message from the universe. Uh, red with the Knight of Cups, all right? Queen of Cups. Mm. That World War II energy, by the way, is dissipating out around, around 2028-ish, right? End of 27, early 28. Maybe middle of 28, kind of that time frame. There's no real way to tell. It lasts about 12. 12 years with about a three or four year lead in, you know, and that's about what's going on now. It kicked in about 2016 and it started around 2012 with its kind of lead in. Everybody who reads energy kind of felt it coming, right? You know, don't worry. It'll dissipate out around 2028. 20, It'll be back again for your grandchildren, right? Don't worry. There'll be some other bullshit going on, some other Hitler type character in about 80 or 90 years from 2028 20, or 70 or 80 years from 2028. 20, <laughs> it comes around. It's like clockwork, I'll tell you. Um, Queen of Cups. Uh, red, most love I can feel red with the Knight of Cups. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. Somebody coming to give the full cup. Why don't it's, it's almost too easy. We're going to clarify that. The universe, it, I said that, and the, and, and the energy went, it dipped. That's sort of like the universe going, ah, you might want to think about that. Okay, all right, we'll see. We'll clarify that. Potential final outcome, red with the six, whoa, look at that, see, spun. Red with the six of cups. Yeah, the Empress. Look, at the, at the end of the day, you're all somebody can think about. Oh, you're all somebody can feel. There's, there's too much attraction here. It's too simple an explanation. All right? It's like, as an analogy or as an example, your person comes up to me and says, I really love your viewers, Steve. What should I do? And I say, why don't you reach out and tell them how you feel? It's kind of irrefutable logic. There's nothing in the energy that makes anyone want to question that. It's, it's that simplest solution, sort of, a, oh, well, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Okay, right. So with the Empress energy here, and it, this backs up what I said about this Six of Cups, somebody here, even in their ego, who normally wouldn't be, is understanding this connection. They're under, the karma's rushing in, and they're processing it just fine. This is communication for you. There's a but attached to the Queen of Cups, though. So we're going to clarify I think we're going to use the light seer. It's a milder sort of energy. I don't want to throw the witches on top of this. Okay? Uh, even though we talked about spells. I don't. See? I, I said don't cast a spell here. And what did I do? I didn't grab the witches. I grabbed a nice, smooth, easy light seer deck. See? And I did that without thinking about it. I just realized when I said, wow, I would normally, the witches would go be my go-to here for something like a Pluto, a dark energy kind of a thing, you know, deep, deep Pluto. No, not this time. This is very flowy, very nice. You throw a spell on top of this, you're going to have a problem, you know? And it's like, why, is, why, is, why are people always working on their hot rods? You know, their souped up cars. Why? Because the moment you soup it up, you, you complicate the engine. You add problems to it. You start having issues. You start needing to tune it up every five. If you'd have just left the engine alone, left it stock, it's fine. You just drive it every day and take it for its oil changes and whatever. When you start mucking with it, that's when you start having problems and having the need to be a gearhead and get up under the hood all the time. Well, same thing here. This is fine. Just leave it stock. It's good. It'll run nice. It'll get you to the store. It'll get you to your conclusions. It'll make somebody really feel your connection. I'll tell you that. Knight of Cups, why is it here? You, know, you throw a spell on it, that's like souping it up. It's going to cause problems. You're going to knock it out of balance. It's almost perfectly balanced energy. I get that here with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, it's very neutral, very flowy. Um, Knight of Cups, why is it here? It's 
Cross by the Seven of Wands. Um, it's I, I would love to say it. The, the energy is someone wanting to rise up and I get the butt here now. The butt that the universe threw in the burble and the energy here. The dip. Uh, somebody does want to rise up and fight for this connection. Yeah, in the energy. Yes, they do. But they also want to stay safe at the same time. And that's why the Queen of Cups gives the full cup. Doesn't care about being safe. Be it love isn't about being safe. What what the hell is that, right? So somebody wants their cake and eat it too in the environmental energy. Well, I want to stay safe, but I also want to. I know I have to say something. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's understandable on their side. I imagine the the feelings are very high, but they are understanding them in this energy. It's very simple, flowy energy. It really is during the retrograde portion. When, when Pluto goes direct in Capricorn next month, not so much. All right, so I hope I hope they act on it during the retrograde phase. You got about a month here to get your shit to pull your head out of your ass, you know, out of your owl ass, and come in and say something. What's going on here? Uh, what's on top? Ace of Wands. Yeah. Why is that here? Three of Wands. Yeah. It's someone who realizes they've thought about it long enough. You know, they think about it for this is a it, not a Two of Wands. If it was a Two of Wands, it'd be someone who's going to dilly dally a little bit, maybe. Right. This is Three of Wands. We're not, you know, once we get the notion, once we, once the light bulb goes off, once we figure it out, it, the fire is lit instantly. It's like lighting a match. Once it's struck, that's it. It flares up and it's burning. So somebody here, and I say that, look, I got fire everywhere. You got little matches here. You got your torches here. You got your torch there in the forehead there on the third eye. Yeah. Somebody, somebody here does it, you know, it, it's very easy to understand. You've got an energy coming towards you. That's abundantly clear. Okay. If somebody something's been trying to happen for a while, somebody's been holding on to your energy, not making a decision, it might be a lot of somebody's. All of a sudden, they know what to do, and they're going to come towards you. This is, you're, a, you're an electromagnet in a fucking nail factory. Turn, turn, you, and you're turned on, and the nails are flying at you. You got people coming at you from all angles. There's your nails right there. So, right, like that. It's like that. So it might be a lot of different energies coming at you with communication. But I've got one in particular with a very strong soulmate connection. I mean, there's a lot of power here, right? It's right here. You can see it all in, the, in those roots. Look how many there are. And that's a little mini version of the uh, tree that's on the emperor, by the way. Again, confirming the masculine energy I picked up over here. Okay. Six of Cups. Why is it here? Let's talk about it. Uh, let's talk about it. So uh, even in the ego, this person, I mean, all they can think, all they can feel is you. All they can think about is you. I get it. But what I don't get is why, how, they are, how they are all of a sudden understanding so much. I think what's happening is because I have a pentacle here, normally this person acts, whoever this is, acts on pentacles. In other words, it's practical kind of a thing uh, for them rather than cups. That said, with the pentacles in the soul, I think, they're process I think the universe, I'll put it this way, the universe is sending them the information in a way that they can understand so that something happens here because it is time it is the last chance it's the last moment you know if you think about it the soulmate cycle right is a direct reflection of societal energies and and think about what you I, i'm not talking i'm not trying to bring societal energies in i didn't want to do that but the fact of the matter is we got a big decision to make while this capricorn transit is happening and you know it's this is it it's the last you don't get to remake it you don't get to do over. Oh, okay, well, we chose wrong. Now what? Now, it's not the way it works. It doesn't work that way. So that being said, this person here, this, this is, you know, it's, when I say it's the last chance, it, it, it may feel that way to them in some capacity. In some capacity, that may have been part of the Ten of Swords that was before the cut. Uh, it wasn't the primary energy, but it was probably there in one of the layers. Okay? So again, it's, it, it feels very important to them to make the right decision here and it's glaringly obvious what the right decision is and that's that's the plus side of things i mean it's hard not to be oh steve's viewer the empress right so why is the six of cups here so let's see yeah the page of pentacles for some reason this person is able to access what they've learned from this connection some some there's some kind of clarity about what they've learned from this connection they're able to access it all right their own inner student awakens, if you will, what's on top, two of pentacles. And they're able to make a decision based on facts. Why is the two of pentacles here? 
The Wheel of Fortune. Wow. The Wheel of Fortune. Um, yeah, somebody's behaving totally different here. Somebody's making decisions, informed decisions based on facts for a change. Um, and based on what they've learned, you know, it, it's hard. It, the energy is right based on what they've learned. See, with the, the seeds that are planted, they've grown. They can't distract themselves from it. The lessons are just there. I mean, again, it's sort of that energy. If someone or something shows you who or what they are, believe it. This person's believing it. For a change, they're believing it. And they're making decisions accordingly. And that decision brings them right to you. Okay? Oh, my God. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Why is it here? Tell me about it. Three of Pentacles. See? Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. The soul is on board. These two energies match. These, these We have a match. This is what I said. The, the soul matches the brain here. Matches the ego. Um, the, the lesson's here. It gets here. And it's processed here. And decisions are made based on facts. Right? Soul doesn't... Why do I say facts? The soul doesn't lie. There's no lies there, right? Anybody that lies, they're not talking from the soul. It's their ego. They're lying to gain something from themselves. Usually, in this soulmate cycle, people lie to themselves to keep themselves safe. They're not lying to themselves. They're not anything. The facts come in from the soul. They process the facts because the Page of Pentacles was also crossing here, and they make decisions based on that. And that changes everything. We got a big direction change coming here. Big. Big. What's going on? What's on top? Eight of Swords. Yeah, wow. Uh, why is the Eight of Swords here? King of Pentacles. Again, stability. Somebody who's normally not listening to the soul doesn't like the facts that come from here. The facts come from the soul. Somebody doesn't like it normally. And they don't do this now because I got the wheel here. It changes everything. Energy flows from 5D to 3D. I got a stable energy. Somebody, this girl who's all messed up, male or female, is okay. She's perfectly fine. I ask, why is the Eight of Swords here? Because of this. Because this is what's happening now. The facts are getting from the soul. Yep. The, and getting to the 3D, coming from the soul, getting to the 3D, somebody making proper decisions. So yeah, you've got a good chance of somebody who's held on to your energy finally doing something with it. Okay? Because they understand now. They are important. Maybe you're not going anywhere. You know? That kind of thing. I don't know. The universe put a, a wobble in the energy here on the Queen of Cups. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Let's see where we're at. All right, why is the Queen of Cups here? Why'd you put a burble here? Hmm? Why'd you put a burble here? A lot of shuffling in this reading. My God. Fucking unreal. It's crossed by the Page of Swords. Yeah, somebody's coming to share the whole cup. I just... I think you might be disappointed by what's in that cup. I have felt that off of the Knight of Swords here. What's on top? That, that chariot. Yeah. They come charging. It's like somebody running up to you. With, it's red with the, uh, the other fast energy of the Ace of, Ace of Wands. It's like somebody running up to you. Your, your, your name is, uh, I don't know, your, your name is Dana or, or Jill or something like that. And they're yelling, Jill, Jill. And they're running after you, running after you. You're like, they're like, oh, you, you stop and you look back and you go, my God, what? What's going on? You think it's something major. You know, like you're, you're dripping blood as you're walking or so. I mean, what the fuck? You know, and they show up and they go, I wanted to give you this napkin. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, uh, what? Huh? Oh, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. The energy of the Queen of Cups doesn't fit what's actually going to happen. And that might disappoint you a little bit. Okay. It might. This is the disappointed messages meaning of the energy of the uh, uh, Page of Swords. All right. It's like that. Chill. Yeah, it sounds, it's, it seems great. Somebody come rushing in. It's just, uh, why's the chariot here? Yeah, see, it's the devil. It, the devil energy is there. It's just this. And that's red with the three of wands. Somebody, it feels very selfish to me. It feels like somebody is still, look, people are who they are. Okay, there's no dark night of the soul happening here. The energy is just setting up the way it is. Somebody is who they are. It, it's, it feels I don't know, contrived. It feels selfish. So that's why the universe said, yes, they're coming to tell you how they feel, but it, it's a whole lot of yelling at you across the room, running up to you, and what they have to say is a little smaller than the lead-up would indicate. Okay? Just look at it that way. All right? The Empress. But, again, that's the hidden energy. 
That's the message from the universe. Somebody has a motive here, a hidden motive. That's one of the things that's hidden energy. It's what you don't see. If I don't like it when the devil comes into hidden energy. Now, the hidden energy, that right there is going to be worth the extended for sure for me. I want to know more about that devil. That's going to be the star of my show right there. All right. Why is the Empress here? Tell me about it. What's the final final on this for my viewers? Let's go. It's a big reading. It's a big energy. Don't discount it. Don't discount the energy right now. All kinds of energies are going to come towards you. I said that, right? Didn't I say you were like a magnet in a nail factory? And I said, there's your nail right there. And it kept shooting in, shooting in, shooting in. It's not just this energy. Something, it's just not. Why? Because the Empress is crossed by the Empress. And this time I can see your tits. I mean, no, seriously. Everybody can. Look down. Yeah, they're there. Um, it, it is like that. Empress crossing Empress. It's like energy attracts like energy. Somebody's, everybody around you during this Pluto retrograde transit through Capricorn, for reasons that's going to show up and explain more as we pull more of the surrounding energies, but just in this energy alone, everybody's going to be very emotional. They're going to feel very emotionally attached to you. I mean, if you lend somebody at work a pen, they're going to, it's, they're going to feel it like you just gave them a kidney. You know what I'm saying? That's what I mean over here about it's, it all seems bigger in the lead up, you know, to someone. It's just, it, it's, yeah, there's no other way to phrase it other than that my example that I gave here or my example that I give here. If you lend somebody a pen, they're going to view you as some kind of saint. It's just a pen, bro. Chill. You know, like that. Um, very, very powerful. Very powerful for you. Um, there's a lot of unfinished business wrapping up for you here. What's on top? See? That's who. Emperor and the Empress come together. The Emperor, what is it? I said, what does this Empress mean to my viewer? What's the final final on this? Well, this is talking about the environmental energy around you as the Empress. People see you as the Empress. And it's, draw, it's drawing in. It's drawing in your divine counterparts. It's tying up old business. This is about balancing energy when I get the Emperor on top of the Empress. Balancing your energy. And balancing the energy between you and others. I think it's multiple others because I have two pentacles here. Multiple, it doesn't mean there's just two. It means there's multiple. I think it's multiple people. But one in particular definitely finally coming off the fence with you. Why is the emperor here? The sun. It's communication. It's enlightenment. At the very least, this, this energy here turns things around for you. You may change your mind about some things too. And some people. Maybe because of their actions. I don't know. You might. But... You gotta, this here is going to teach you things, show you things about this person, about who they are, about how they feel about you that you didn't know before with the, with the sun and the wheel of fortune. And the wheel of fortune is a 10, 10 to the end, end, dead end that lead to a new beginning. All right? And it doesn't matter whether you go with this person or don't go with this person. It doesn't matter. You learn something about them. You learn something. And again, this is an energy. Pluto retrograde in Capricorn or even Pluto direct in Capricorn. They're both what, just this last little transit of Capricorn. When someone or something shows you who they are, believe it. The first motherfucking time. Okay? It is what it is. And so, that has a double-edged sword. If this energy shows up and once, you know, the first time you met them, they, they couldn't help but slip in little insults about you or something like that just for, you know, nope, it's just the way they are because that's what narcissists do. Right? The first time around, they showed you they were a narcissist. Now they come in. They seem a little humble at first, but then you start to see signs that they're still a narcissist. Fucking believe it. Don't, don't start saying, well, they've changed a little. It took a while for me to notice it. No, there, ain't, there isn't any changing a little. People either change or they don't change. Most people don't change. Why? Because it's a lot of work. It's not because they can't change. It's because they don't. Because you, you can only make real change happen from the soul. And that's hard. That's difficult. All right. It's much easier just to live a superficial existence. It's just what most people do. King of Wands is the most common energy I walk past on my walk. The King and Queen of Wands, they're everywhere. If I walk past 50 people on a walk, right, 50 people, about 46 of them are King and Queen of Wands type energy. Easy, right? And even the ones that, and then there's the ones that think they're enlightened, but they're not really enlightened. They're kind of phony ass. I see them, they usually carry a yoga mat. And they walk, they walk past me and, they all, and they're all, but yet they're in their smartphone and they're doing all, they're ignoring the, the Zen that's all around them and stuff like that. 
Yeah, they're queen of wands too. A little bit, a little bit. I don't, sometimes I go page of wands type energy with that. At the same time here, fine. Just, it is what it is. This is what most of, most of people are. But you're still going to get communication from somebody. It balances your energy. This is your final outcome. You end this very happy. You end this Pluto transit through Capricorn. It's final transit, especially during the retrograde phase. You have a chance to get very happy and balance your own inner masculine and feminine energy, which in turn is happiness. Balanced energy to us in the 3D is happiness. And that's what the universe is primarily saying here. You got, you got something, some kind of information coming your way, something, some things you figure out as well. This energy applies to you. Your energy gets balanced. That ends in happiness for you. That's a good, happy fucking ending. It's also a yes card, by the way. So, again, if you're trying to decide a direction to go in, the answer will be very obvious. The answers are very obvious. Do not confuse things by asking too many questions, by questioning things too much. Remember that seven of cups from the pre-shuffle? Questioning things too much, throwing too many things into the mix. It confuses things. Only we can add the confusion to this energy. The energy itself is very crystal clear, okay? So again, that's the way it is. And look at that, the Empress crossing the Empress for you is a final outcome. That's fucking mind blowing. But for the energy but for some of the other energies around you that are coming towards you, I get this. I get motives and stuff. We'll talk about that in the extended. Right now, let's pull three cards and a crossing card. What else you want to tell my viewers, universe? Anything? Right? Anything? Alright. Let's go. Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords, Four of Cups, and a Three of Wands. Fueled by a Three of Cups. A long-awaited truthful conversation can happen. I say can. I don't have a fucking Major Arcana here. I got a court card. But I don't have a Major Arcana. Uh, it can happen. It, it absolutely can. You got Three Wands here. Three Wands is right here. This, this, this card ties to the Three of Wands and the energy of your connection, which is sitting on top. Of, of a, 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 an ace of well it's, it's there because of an ace of wands and a knight of cups our overall energy is this a, con a truthful conversation can happen I think the universe is saying how do I phrase this without making you sound great the other side sound like shit I just think that you speak more truth the amount of truth that you're willing to speak versus the amount of truth the other person is willing to speak are greatly different I don't think you should care about that. I think you should be apathetic to it one way or another. All th this, this energy right here, this Four of Cups, is an apathy energy. And I'm going to say something I've said to you before. I've said it usually in, in conjunction with manifesting. All things come to those who don't give a shit whether they get them or not. That's the secret. You create voids. You create vacuums. You put something out there. Oh, I'm, I'm going to manifest. Oh, look at that. And I accidentally revealed a four of wands. Wow. And there's a lover's. I didn't even look what was under this empress. I'll finish my sentence in a second. Empress, your final outcome is empress crossed by lovers with the four of wands. You get, all, and they all live happily ever after. You do anyway, no matter what happens here. My point is, all things come to those who don't give a shit whether they get them or not. You want something, you put it out there, and then you forget about it. All right? I don't want you to care too much about what someone else is saying or what they might say or if they come in and disappoint you in some way. I don't want you to care about that. I want you, and so does the universe, you do what you want to do, to care about what you're learning from it, what you're getting out of it. Because whether you realize it or not, this is an amazing fucking final outcome for you. The universe says you're probably going to be disappointed with their truth. Doesn't matter. Do not care about that. Because in the process of that, the universe will replace it with something that you will care about, that you will be happy about. This is all about you. And it kind of is. It's a selfish energy. I get the selfishness here, but it's selfishness on each side. So whatever is happening for you in life, whatever it is with this, whoever this is, is part of the soulmate cycle. It's all about you. You have the energy's permission to be a little bit selfish. Be creatively selfish. Don't hurt other people with your selfishness. You'd probably be selfish better than the DM side will. But at the end of the day here, it's a very, very happy ending for you. And ending a phase, by the way, of a lot of bullshit, a lot of seven swords, 
and a, a lot of people keeping their distance from you or you not knowing some things with the seven wands not being able to make plans fully because you're not sure about this stick over here all of that goes away we get a very balancing of your energy which ends very happy so again yeah you might be it's it's apathetic you don't try not to care what happens and you'll find it, that you clear up a lot of problems in this energy you answer a lot of things you find out a lot of things that make you happy and a lot of things that don't and just keep moving through it and you'll be fine it's when you allow yourself to get bummed out oh i'm so bummed they showed up where you jam up this energy a little bit you start adding a seven of cups type element to it you start adding elements which create confusion don't create confusion don't do any spells here this is very simple energy simple things tend to tend to work well and stay running right that's why older cars are better than newer cars older cars simple there's not much to break new cars every little thing every little doodad's got a computer sensor for this and that and the other thing blah 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 you might have a hundred miles on a brand new car and it's already in the shop because there's all kinds of stupid shit that breaks into overcomplicated energy and oh my god oh my god and that's typically the way the energy is for us it's overcomplicated this is very simple energy right now between now and about november 20th it is very simple at its core energy don't add to it don't overthink it don't add too much to it again just take the whole almost like the cool kid doesn't care doesn't seem to care about anything it's all water off a duck's back and you will balance your energy through this and believe me that sun as your final card says a lot all right i harped on the ending because it's important that you understand that i know it's human nature some of us maybe even me will fuck this energy up by con by convoluting it i get it it happens but hey i gotta put this out there for you anyway all right so is somebody coming to communicate with you yeah it's probably a masculine energy that's been dilly dallying and holding on to your energy for a while they get very clear on what they need to do here all right that's your reading if you want the extended the links in the description there's some devil energy here came up in the message from the universe so it's pretty powerful and it's tied to love all right so we'll find out and we'll find out more about you at the beginning of that extended too i'll pull on you a little more all right that's your reading i hope it was helpful if you like this reading please like share and subscribe appreciate all the subscribers everybody who shares and everybody who watches good luck